about the strategy part. So what made you choose as far as when you when you're doing your book deals or any product deals, how does Natasha choose whether she wants to self-publish or go with the publisher or whatnot? So how do you choose? So when it comes to publishing a book, when it comes to doing any deals with anyone, the first thing you want to ask is, what do I want to achieve? What's my aim? So what am I aiming to get out of this? So I knew I wanted to reach a billion people by 2030 through all my work, through all my knowledge, my videos, my content, my programs, everything. How can I do that? Well, if I write a book, I can sure reach a few million people. I have a great following, but on top of having 17 million followers, I'm actually able to reach people through other people's platforms with a book. So this is my second book. And I decided to go with a, sec a different publisher than my first one. I had a great time with my first one. I used a publisher who also did uh, Deepak Chopra. And this time around, I decided now, my second question, if I go with a publisher, what will they offer me that I won't be able to do myself? Mm. And so I made a list of all the things that I could possibly do using a publisher. And I asked them, I interviewed them instead of going in like, hey, publish me. I sat down with three publishers and I said, hey, why would I want to go with you? Mm. Why would I choose you over anyone else? And so they pitched me and they told me how it would work. And then I decided, great, I am going to use this publisher and we're going to do X, Y, and Z together. But I just really want to mention to anyone who's listening today and watching I really want you to know that if you think the publisher is going to do everything, you are wrong. The publisher does some of the work, but do you know where you get book sales from and the majority of your exposure with your book? You. You have to put the effort in to get the results you want. The publisher will print your book. Do they get you in bookstores? No, not necessarily. Do they get you book signings? I just did a book signing at Barnes and Noble at the Grove in LA. So blessed to have done it there. Oprah did us there. Brene Brown did hers there. Um, the Secret launched their book there. One of the best selling books in the world to this day. All these top people did their book signings. So I knew I want to do that. Did my publisher get that? No, I got that. My team and me got that. We strived for what we wanted to get. Do you understand? You have to do so much of the work yourself in order to get the results you want because nobody else is going to do it for you. Yep. Nobody else is going to call the uh, publishing places <laughs> and the bookstores and the houses and the people that you want to get into. And here's a bigger part, marketing. Everybody assumes their publisher does the marketing. Almost all the time, not true. You have to do all the marketing. When you want a big publisher, you want them for the name, let's say, you want one of the top five, you have to go to them with your pitch too of why they would sign you because you have an amazing marketing plan. So I was like, well, look, honey, I'm married to my PR guy. <laughs> I'm married to a PR agency, so you know. So that was a great start. But for anybody that's not, get a good PR agency. You know, you don't have to use Mindful Media, but use a results-based agency. Use a results-driven agency. Not one that you don't know how it goes. Use one that you know they will get the results you want because they already put Natasha in this. They already did this person's thing. They already did covers here, there, and everywhere. And boy, I want a bit of that too. Great, that's results-based. Choose somebody who is results-based. Whatever PR company you choose today. And Mindful Media would be happy to hear from you if you want to learn more about it. But go with somebody who's results-based. Then you go to your publisher. Hey, publisher, guess what? I have lined up Grazia Magazine, Forbes Magazine, Entrepreneur Magazine, and I'm going on TV on three interviews. And I'm doing X, Y, and Z. When you go to them with that, they are so likely to either give you an advance, maybe cover that cost for you, mm -hmm. or they are likely to want to sign you. But please, for anyone listening, I, I really want to just express this. It's not that much of a big deal using a huge publisher. If you 
are not someone who has a monumental household name. It's really almost no difference. You have to do all the work yourself. It's just that they have connections to bookstores and you'd hope they would be able to get you in. But do you know how many publishing deals go down where they have so many people that they look after and you just go to the bottom of the shelf? And not it's not guaranteed to go into bookstores, you know? So they do wonderful things in that way. My publisher's been great. You know, they helped us with, with getting in so many different stores online. But I really and truly have had to do almost all of it myself and with my team. So that's a little bit on, on book publishing. I hope that helps someone today. <laughs>